Very nice, sir. I'm excited to meet you, buddy. We haven't met yet in, in person. Um, so next up, our one last stretch we're going to do is we're going to do what I like to call Dr. Jones. Okay, so this one's a little, a little bit more complicated. All you got to do is follow what I'm going to do, okay? So put your arms straight out like you're a zombie. Uh -huh. You're going to pull your arms back. You're going to lift your arms up, kind of like you're doing the YMCA. You're going to bring <laughs> it down and squeeze your back. You're going to bring it down and go forward. One more time. We're going to pull it back, up. Down, down, four. One last time. Go back. Up. There's a point. Down. Hi, Emily. Down. Hi. And four. Very nice. All right, shake it off, guys. Shake Seventy-five it off. seconds till it gets a bigger spot. Cool. So, set. Derek, can you mute yourself, bud, please? Thank you. Second, so it gets a good boil going. All right. So <laughs> after stretching, we're gonna move on to a little bit of uh, of movement. All right. Who here has played basketball before? Can you raise your hands real quick? Derek. <laughs> all right. All right. Good. So all of you have played basketball in some shape or form. I think all of you were on the. Uh, the session this morning, right? With Coach Mouse and Coach Mayo? Yeah. So you guys learned about a couple different offensive sets and defensive sets. Miss Abby, can you tell me one of the defensive setups that Coach Mayo or, or Coach Mouse talked about? Teacup. Teacup, okay. What about, mm, Suchi, what's, what's another defensive setup? Oh, you're muted, dear. Uh, box. box. Very nice. What about, hey, Ernesto, can you tell me about an offensive setup? There, there might have been a word or a phrase that they use. Can you remember? Um, blocking. Blocking. Okay, blocking. Yeah, you do that on defense. Absolutely right. What about Polina? Can you help us out offensively? What was one of the words that? Coach Mayo or Coach Mouse used? If you can remember. I know it was a long time ago. <laughs> Say it again. Know your person. Know your personnel. Absolutely right. Because the reason why we know our personnel, because we have to get used to our teammates and who we're playing with. For example, Coach Mouse can probably catch any type of pass that you throw at her. But for me, I, I need a nice, delicate pass to be able to catch the ball. So that's a great job for me. So what we're gonna do first, we're actually gonna move uh, move around a little bit. How many of you are sitting in a wheelchair of some sort right now? Or okay, one, two, three, four, five. Paulina, are you? You're not in a wheelchair right now, right? Yeah. No. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna show two types uh, two types of movements. First, for our friends that are using their chairs, and then second, we'll go with whoever's not using their chair. Okay. When you're in your chair. This is what's called a power yes, start and sure. stop. So, yes, you're not a so I'm in my everyday chair today. Okay. What you want to do, you want to start your hands kind of pushing uh, at a starting point right here. You want to take two pushes forward and then stop your chair as fast as you can. Okay. And then you want to pull backwards twice and then stop your chair as fast as you can. All right. So, for those of you that are in your chairs, make one. Make sure there's nothing around you that can hurt you or that you can bump into because we don't want to break nothing, right? Okay. So for now, I want you guys to try going forward twice and backwards twice like this. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. <laughs> mm -hmm. There we go, Aurora. Now, Miss Paulina or whoever is not using a chair. So Olivia, are you in a chair right now? Miss Olivia? Oh, I think you're muted too. Okay. If you're just sitting in a regular chair, that's totally fine. Yeah, I'm, I'm in a spinny chair, actually. That's what I'm in. You're in a spinny chair? Okay. What you guys can actually do is you want to get that motion of your shoulders. So all you have to do is move your shoulders forward like this twice. 
and then backwards twice, as fast as you can. Can you do that for me? <laughs> Forward, backwards. And for everybody else, we're going backwards and forward. Keep it going. Backwards and forward. Paulina, Oliva, keep your uh, keep your shoulder rotations, all right? Pochop, are you in the chair, buddy? Yeah, okay, all right. Good work, good work. Keep it going, go forward, backward as fast as you can. Fast as you can. Very nice, keep going. You guys are doing awesome. Okay, so everybody freeze. So, we just went forward and backwards. Now we're gonna go left and right. So, I'm gonna move some stuff out of the way so I don't break things. <laughs> for those of you that are in your wheelchairs, for some of you in your wheelchairs, I want you to pivot your chair to the left and take one push, pull backwards. Okay, everybody that's in a wheelchair, do that right now. Pivot to the left. Turn your chair to the left. Yep. And pull back. Okay. Now we're going the opposite way. We're going to go to the right. We're going to turn right and pull back. Let me see. Okay. Now that you have that motion going, now that you have that motion going, we're going to go left, back, right, and then back. Okay. Just like this, go left, back, right, and back, okay? Now for our friends that aren't using their chairs or aren't really moving, or that, uh, that aren't able to use their chairs right now, you guys can call a direction. So for example, you can say left, and I want you to pivot your shoulders to the left, like you're moving in a chair. Or you can call right, turn your chair to the right, and pivot your chair that way, okay? So Paulina, let me see. I want you to call direction left. and then pivot left, okay? Olivia, what about you? Turned. Huh? Turn. It's either le it's left or right. What do you think, Olivia? Second, I don't, because what is exactly do you want us to do? Because I can. Mm -hmm. So with, with you, it, because you're not using your chair, I just want you to call out a, a direction, so it's either left or right, and then when you call it, I want you to turn your shoulder that way, as if you're in a ball chair. Okay. okay. And I'm gonna add another kicker. For everyone that's in their chair, whatever direction they call, that's where we have to go. So we're gonna go, Olivia, you're gonna call one out first, okay? Whichever direction you, you call, everybody else is gonna push, okay? All right, left. All right, left. Let's go left, guys. Pull back. Where else? Olivia? Right. Right. All right. It's for right. Pull back. All right. Miss Paulina, you have uh, two other directions we can go. We can go forward or backwards as well. Call it out, okay? All right. As loud as you can. Ready? Forward. Forward, let's go. Push forward, pull back. What's another direction? Backward. Backwards and forward. Good job, guys. All right, cool. Let's take a quick breather. All right, good stuff, good stuff. So these little things, like even though it might seem like a small movement, wheelchair basketball is about creating those, those little pushes and those little movements to get around <laughs> Right? <laughs> Aurora agrees. So you're either going to be doing that on offense or defense, right? The difference between stopping someone is if how quick you are in uh, making those movements fast, all right? So we got, let me see. Earlier today, if you were on the session, I asked you to grab a little weight, all right? Can any everybody go grab their weight? It could be a shoe. It could be literally uh, a sock. It could be a backpack. What do you, whatever you have that's nearby your house. So I'll show you what I have. Got myself a dumbbell like this. A pillow would be perfect. Yep. You can use a stuffed animal if you like. Like this. All right, whatever you got. And when you, once you guys have it, I want you to show me what you got, okay? And for Aurora, can she just use her fist? Absolutely, you can just use your fist, you can just use your body. 
Mm -hmm. So you're all set, Aurora. You're good. All right. Let's see. Hunter, you've got to wait. Pauline's got to wait. Kumaka's grabbing something. I know he'll be back. <laughs> Gannon's got some. Emily, what do you got? You got oranges? Big oranges. Those are some big oranges, yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Olivia, what are you holding? Bats hat, very cool. They're very cheap. Yeah. They're grapefruit. Oh, they're grapefruits. Okay. Oh, ginormous. <laughs> <laughs> Ernesto, what is that, buddy? We have a whole box of a that. trombone mute. Oh, cool. All right, trombone. Yeah. And we've got a whole box of grapefruits. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. All right. So with your instrument or grapefruits or bag or whatever thing you have, okay, or if it's just your fist, I just want you to hold it up with one hand. All right. So Aurora, one hand. And we're supposed to straight up. Okay. Just like this. You can do this a couple times. One. Two. Nice, Aurora. Three. Good work, guys. Four. Oh, yeah, Kumaka. Six. I lost count. <laughs> We're at six. Seven. Seven. Jackson. Eight. Back. Should, we, should one of the campers call the numbers out? Absolutely. Like Absolutely. All right. We're going to switch arms, and then let me get Emily in. Okay. Emily. Ready. You want to count us out to ten with the left arm? Yeah. Ready. All right. Go for it. One. Mm -hmm. Two. Three, four. Very nice. Five, six, Your, uh, eight, nine, ten. All right, good job, guys. Okay, take a quick second here. Now I'm going to show you the the next movement. Then I'm going to call someone else to count. Okay. So this one right here. Whether you're holding a backpack or you're just holding your fist, I want you to hold whatever you got straight out, and I want you to rotate left and right like this. And this will be one, and two, and three, and four. Let me get uh, Kumaka. Can you count it out for us, bud? Okay. We're going to go to 10. All right, let's get it. One. Mm -hmm. Two. Three, four, push the little daisy. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, let's switch arms or switch hands. And Abby, can you count us out to ten this time? All right. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very nice, very nice. Now we've got two more movements, okay? Everybody feeling okay? Give me a thumbs up if you're feeling all right. No one's too tired yet, right? All right, very cool. So this one, this is Coach Mayo's favorite. This is what you call a bicep curl. You guys can do it with whatever you're holding, okay? What I want you to do is I want you to start your, your arms down low. Start low here and just go straight up. Okay, so Aurora, take your time with that. Go down and up. Okay, let me get, uh, you know what? Let me get, oh, yeah. can you count us out again, please? The 10? One. Mm -hmm. Two. Yep. Three. Four. One, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Thank you, Miss Paulina. Action Jackson, we're going to switch arms and do the same thing to ten. Can you count us out? Yeah. All right. Uh, one, two, three, four. Work. Five, six, seven, eight, 
Nine. Ten. Very nice. All right. Let's take a quick breather. Shake it out if you have to. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna test and see who's been paying attention. All right, I have, I have a question. Abby, do you remember why we stretch before any workout and after? Pull muscle. So we what? Don't pull a muscle and hurt yourself. So we don't pull a muscle and hurt ourselves. Very nice. <laughs> um, let's see, Camden, unmute yourself for me, please. <laughs> So I know I, I know we just said it, but do you remember what Coach Mayo's favorite workout is? Starts with a B. Mm. Ma looks like this. Uh, Some, give it a try. Give it a guess. Um, <gasps> bicep. Yeah, bicep. bicep. Um, bicep. Uh, it's all good, but hey, we're here to learn, all right? It's called a bicep curl. Uh, okay, bicep curl. We're gonna be keeping. We're gonna keeping you guys thinking and trying to remember these things. All right. All right, you guys are doing awesome. Okay, so. Next deal. So you guys can use, uh, oh, actually, can you go grab either a ball, if you have one, a shoe, something that you kind of toss around a little bit. So I don't, I don't want you using like a weight, but maybe like a golf ball, or you can use the grapefruit, Emily. Very nice. Paulina's got hers. Action Jackson's got a basketball. Coach Mayo's got a basketball. Aurora, you can still use your fist if you have to, okay? Ernesto's got his. Olivia, what do you got, dear? I'm trying to think because for reasons I have Tootsie Roll things and I'm wondering if I could probably use them, huh? You can absolutely use the Tootsie Rolls, all right? Now I, make sure it's secure because I'm going to have you like toss them around a little bit. So if you want to take, actually, if you want to take out a Tootsie Roll, like one individual Tootsie Roll, use that. That's totally fine. Okay, Suchi, what do you got for me? They're empty, so. Okay, then just use the, the, the canister. Suchi's got a ball. All right, go. Next, we're going on to the ball handling aspect of this. But before we even start dribbling, I want to see, uh, I want to test everybody's range of catching and see how they can manipulate the ball. All we're going to do is what we call ball taps. All right. These are really great because you don't need to be outside. You can be indoors, you can be sitting on your couch, on your floor, whatever, as long as you have something to tap around. So I'm going to use a softball. Okay. But again, if you don't have anything, you can just use your hands and you're just testing your range of motion. All I want you to do is tap that ball left and right, like this for now. Just like that. Yeah. Yep. Just use your hands, Aurora. Very nice. Good job, Action Jackson. Very nice, Polina. All right. Now, as that gets easier, I want you to pick up the pace a little bit. Go a little faster. Uh-huh. Go a little faster if you can. Here we go, Ernesto. I see you, but I'm watching all of y'all. We're good. <laughs> yep, fast as you can. If that starts to get a little easy, all right, I want you to extend your arm out and see if you can do it in front of you. Yep. Go at your pace, okay? Test your range, all right? You can reach out to the side. Very nice, Abby. To the left of you. See how many taps you can get in. Up, down, all around. Okay. Good work, guys. Keep it up, Emily. That's the new work. Really heavy. It's like one of those weight there balls. Are, yeah, 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 I feel you. <laughs> you can go behind the back, behind the head if you want. Okay. Always keep testing yourself. All right, freeze. Very nice. How you guys feeling? Good? Thumbs up. Doing all right? Doing okay? All right. So, now another thing we're going to do, it's going to be just simple side tosses, all right? 
What that looks like is you're going to start the ball off on one side of your hands, and you're just going to toss it up and try and catch it with the other hand. Okay? So whatever you're doing. Now, if you don't have a ball of any type, all I want you to do is this motion. Up, then catch. Up, then catch. Okay? Good job, Laura. So we're going to do this for a couple minutes. Go up, catch, catch, catch. You're in full control. Just flick that wrist up. You're catching it. Very nice. Oh, I got it. If it gets too easy, I want you to try opening out your arms even more. Try to throw like this. All right. See, like even I'm having trouble. All right. Oh, there you go. Get that your range. Arms extended, Aurora. Yep. Extend your arms, Aurora. Yep, just like that. And if you're feeling really crazy, right, if you're feeling really crazy, you can close your eyes and try catching. Okay? Nice and easy. Anybody closing their eyes? Very nice. Good work, guys. Here we go, Olivia. Good work. Nice, Aurora. How you doing, Suchi? You good? <laughs> And also, if the ball happens to drop or happens to go a different direction, that's okay because you're testing yourself, right? If you do it perfect every time, you're not challenging yourself, all right? Good work. Keep it going. Very nice. Throwing it to you, Aurora. There we go. Very nice. Okay. All right, everybody freeze. Good stuff, guys. So now, I'm going to switch uh, balls because I want to use this soccer ball. Now, the reason why I'm using the, these balls and not a basketball, one, I just, have, I just happen to have a basketball in my house right now. Um, so I'm, gonna, I'm using things that are around me. What I want us to do is I want us to try picking up the ball, right, straight down from the floor or from the side of our chair. So what that looks like, Okay, if you're sitting in a chair and you have that range of motion, because this morning, did we talk about classifications, Coach Mouse and Coach Mayo? A little bit. Just a little bit? Okay. So everybody in this room, again, they're a great athlete, but there are some things that might uh, limit or change the way we move on the basketball court, right? So, for example, me, I'm, a, I'm considered uh, to be a high-class player. So I'm from ranges 3-5 to 4-5. All right, I'm worth 3.5 3 points. And what that means is I have a really big range of motion where I can just bend down, pick things up. I can catch things behind me like that. Whereas uh, someone like Coach Mouse, it might be a little harder to catch something that she has to really extend out for. All right? It doesn't make anyone a worse player. It just means that we have to adapt uh, to, to play a certain way. All right, so Abby, you're a 2 0, 1 5? You're a 1, right? Okay. Okay. Do you know it? Uh, you're a one one zero flat. Huh? You're a straight one point zero. Think so. Okay. All right. I think so. Yeah, All right. I cool. Power, so. Gotcha. So for those of you that have a little bit more range of motion, we're gonna try picking up the ball straight up and down like this. You can bend over and grab it. But for those that don't, or that might need a little more time or need to adjust themselves. I want you to put the ball next to the side of your chair and just roll it up as fast as you can against your, your, your chair. All right? Just like that. So you can lean down, grab it. And also, another big thing in wheelchair basketball, we can do what we call a rolling pickup. So I'm going to adjust my camera so you hopefully you can see the floor. So I'm literally just going to pick up the ball. From the side, okay? So all you gotta do is take a push by the ball, put the ball against the wheel, and pick it on up, okay? All right, if you're able to, if you have the space and you're able to do that, give that a try. But if not, we're gonna sit still, try and pick that ball up using our range of motion. So guys like Camden, Kamaka, Olivia, you guys can reach on down, pick that ball straight up, okay? Anyone else that might need to make an Adaptation for use the side of your chair. 
push that ball against the wheel. Bring it on up. Okay? Just like that. Good work, guys. And Emily, you don't have to put it on the ground. You can just put the ball to the side, or the, the grapefruits to the side. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't, don't break the grapefruits. Very nice. Very nice. Good work, can I, Aurora. Can I just do it like this, picking it up and then going like this? And... Yeah. But the uh, biggest thing, I, I want you to challenge yourself. So if it gets too easy, I want you to try and move it further away from you, okay? Yeah, because I kind of already uh, broke. <laughs> You're broke? Okay. That's fine. I understand. Yeah. Right, Ernesto, how you feeling, bud? You good? Yeah. Yeah? Let me see you do a pickup. Reach down as you're getting the ball. Yeah. Then come back up. Reach as far as you can, Aurora. Okay. Very nice. Yeah. Good work, Jackson. Good work, Jackson. Good work, Melina. Very nice. Okay. All right. Take a breather, guys. Take a breather. Good work. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, let me take a look at you. Hmm. Hey, Kumaka. Yes. <laughs> Do you remember which direction we were pushing our chairs earlier? There, there's four. Can you tell me one of the directions? To the left. To the left. Do you remember, did we only push, after we pushed to the left, what did we do after that? Did we just stay there? We what? We pushed to the right after we pushed to the left. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Okay. <laughs> after we pushed those directions, did we pull backwards to one spot? No, we pushed. We pulled backwards and pushed forwards. Very nice. Okay. Good. Hmm. Let me see. Jackson. Hmm. Hmm. All right. So I said something about myself. I was a high class player. Do you remember the number that I said? 3.5 to 4.5. 3.5 to 4.5. Good job, guys. Um, Mr. Ernesto, Abby said something about her classification. Do you remember what number she said? Uh, I think 10? No. I'll give you two options, all right? She said one or three. Three. I think it was three. Okay. All right. Good try. Very nice. So the reason why I'm asking these questions, guys, I just um, there's going to be a lot of information thrown out to you guys from your coaches and also like from you know your teammates, your friends. I just want to see how much you guys can retain um, in a short time. All right? You guys are doing awesome. Seriously. Okay. Now. Aurora, you're doing great also. Absolutely. So the next thing we're going to do, and you can do this on the floor, you can do this in a chair, in your basketball chair, wheelchair, whatever. We're going to do some dribbling, okay? Coach Mayo, do you have a, a basketball by you? Are you able to dribble in your area? Just a little bit. Okay, so using the space that you have, we're going to start off with regular dribbles. I, again, I'm going to be using a soccer ball, so it might not bounce up as high. But this is what the motion looks like, okay? Without a ball. You're going to have the ball to the side of you. Okay, all you're going to do is you're going to use your the palm and the fingertips of your hands. You're going to put the ball down, and you're going to dribble. It looks something like this. I didn't have the ball with me. You don't have to do it with your grapefruit, okay? You can do it without the grapefruit. So just do the motion without the ball, okay? <laughs> Emily, if you were able to dribble a grapefruit, you you know, you, you just make the national team right there. <laughs> But if you're able to dribble with the ball, do it. So we're going up and down just like this. And without a ball, we're looking like this. Just this motion. Okay. Good work, Abby. Nice. Damn, then you doing okay, buddy? Just give me a thumbs up. You don't have to do it. Okay. Suchi's doing good. Jackson, you all right, buddy? Yeah. Okay, okay. Good work. If that gets a little too easy, I want you to dribble a little lower, okay? Let's try and get lower to the ground. So actually, let me show you. 
Usually when it goes too easy, get lower to the ground like this. Okay, let me see those little dribbles. Mm -hmm. Little dribbles. Emily, I still want you to do that motion though, okay? Yeah. Your body will, will still build that muscle memory, even though there's not a ball there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> It'll work. <laughs> Sometimes it's about visualization, yeah. right? Because you're not always going to be able to play in a championship game every day, but you can yeah. practice like you are, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it works. Okay. If that's getting a little easy, let's go to our non dominant hand. How many of you were using your dominant hand just now? Raise your hand. Yeah, okay. So now I want you to try and switch to the opposite hand. So if you're right-handed, I want you to use your left hand, okay? Do a little harder. That's the same motion, guys. It's nice and easy. Good work, Ernesto. <laughs> Only the same thing. You can do it without a ball, just like this. Okay? Coach Mayo's showing up. He's sitting straight up. He's looking, making eye contact with the camera. He's doing all this good stuff. Good work, Camden. Good work, Hunter. <laughs> Abby, is this a little too easy for you? I don't have a Tell the ball. truth. Huh? I got gotcha. you. I want you to close your eyes and dribble then. Yeah, but oh, all right. Here we go. Keep it up, action. Uh, Jackson. I keep calling you action. Good work. If it gets too easy, close your eyes or speed it up. Aurora, don't be afraid to close your eyes. Okay. Use your non dominant hand. Good work, Maka. Right, freeze. So, this is a little, a little bit more advanced, but I think you guys can do it. This is what we call a crossover. Okay, and we're just gonna alternate hands in front of us. So, what's a little something like this? Okay. So, <laughs> make sure you guys can see. So, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dribble with one hand. I'm gonna push it to the opposite side. It's gonna look like this. Okay, it's the same concept, guys. You're in control. You push that ball with the tips of your fingers, and you're breathing. Good work, Abby. I see you. Good work. Nice. All right. If it gets a little too easy, speed it up. Don't need a ball for this. You do this without a ball, just like this. Okay. Same feel. Feel. Good job, Aurora. Good job, Jackson. Just like that. Keep going, guys. Keep it up. Keep it up. Dribbling is one of the most important things of wheelchair basketball because, one, there's a travel rule, right? Did we talk about the travel rule this morning, guys? Yeah. Mm -mm. So, can someone remind me how many pushes do you get until you have to dribble? Yes, Ernesto. How many? Two. Two pushes, absolutely. If not, it's a traveling violation. Right? That's why we work on that dribbling. So all the top players in the world, even today, you know, guys that are on the national team, people that have played in the pros in college, they still work on their dribbling. Simple dribbles just like that. I know for some of you, you're like, ah, it's so easy. It's about doing the easy things. Um, you do it right, do it the proper way. That's what gets you an edge an advantage in a game, okay? Very nice. And so, we've done a little bit of movement. We've done a little bit of ball handling. We did some stretches. What else do we do in basketball, guys? Can someone tell me? Um, Emily, what else do we do in basketball? Um, in basketball, we also, like, like yeah, when you're close to the basket, what do you, what do you, what do you want to do when you're close to the basket? Try to hit, try to hit uh, goals. Try to hit goals? Trying try to make a basket, right? Yeah. <laughs> You're right. No, yeah, that's another way of saying it. Trying to hit, try and hit the goals. <laughs> For, sure. uh, yeah, the basket. I'm sorry. I'm like stuck in soccer. <laughs> it's okay. Soccer is a great sport also. Very nice. 
But hey, so Emily is absolutely right. We're trying to shoot the basket and make the basket. All of you guys have played basketball before. What I want you to do right now, I want you to put your ball down or your instrument down, whatever it is. I want you to show me your perfect basketball shot, okay? I want you to just keep shooting it. Like, look at the camera and take your perfect shot, okay? Everybody take a look at Coach Mouse. Yep, she's just taking her perfect shot. Take your perfect shot. Same one every time. Abby, keep shooting. Keep shooting. Keep shooting, Suchi. Keep shooting. It should be the same shot every time. Means you should go sit down, please. Okay. Ernesto, keep shooting, buddy. All right. No, silly. You can close your eyes if you want. Do you, mm -hmm. you can close your eyes. <laughs> I just want you to feel that motion of taking that shot. Okay. Very good. Keep it going. Nice, Aurora. Very nice, Jackson. Jackson, do it without a ball for now. Do it without a ball. Hey, you're all right. You're all right. Good. All right. Keep your eye on the target. Same target. Very good. So everybody freeze. Taking a look at everybody's shot. You guys all have great jumpers. It looks awesome. So there's an acronym in wheelchair basketball that a lot of uh, athletes go by. Coach Mail, do you know what that acronym is? Beef. It's called beef. All right. So it's B E B F. Okay. The B stands for what we call balance. All right. Can everybody say balance? Balance. Balance. Good job. You, whenever you're shooting, you want to make sure you're balanced in your chair. You don't want to be leading to the side or anything like that. Traditionally, there may be some opportunities for you to where you have to like tilt and take a shot, but we'll talk about that later. The second one is called eyes. All right. Um, let's see. Kumaka, why do you think eyes is in the acronym B when we're talking about shooting? Because you need to look where your shot's going. You got to look where your shot's going, absolutely. Now, I know a couple people that can kind of just throw up a shot and it might go in, but we don't want to win by luck. We want to win based off of practice reps and things that we can control. So you want to keep your eyes on your target. Third, third letter is elbow. Jackson, why do you think uh, elbow is in the acronym B? Because when you shoot, you have to use your elbows. When you shoot, you have to use your elbows. So you... A lot of good shooters, they keep their elbows tucked in, all right, then they go up, and then they do what we, what, which is the final letter of the word, and it starts with an F. Coach Mouse, can, can you tell me what uh, the F stands for? Follow through, and I like to remember it as if you're reaching into the cookie jar. Oh, you're reaching into the cookie jar. Your follow through is you're reaching in for a cookie jar. You're leaving that perfect shot out, just like that, okay? So it's balance, eyes, Elbow, follow through. Okay, Emily, what? The, yes, good job, Aurora. Emily, what does the F stand for? F. Yes. Or S. The, the F, dear. Oh, sorry. It's because my my speaker doesn't work. But F. Okay. Uh, follow through. Follow through, Paulina. Can you give me one of the E's? What does one of the E's stand for? Eyes, there we go. Um, Hunter, can you unmute yourself, bud? What does the B stand for? Balance. Balance. And what about the last E? Suchi, what do you got for me? Follow through. Oh, E, I'm sorry. E. <laughs> oh, E? Yeah. So she's, uh, Paulina said eyes. Now there's one more E. What does that one stand for? It's on your arms. Starts with the E. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Aurora, Aurora's ready to help you. What, do you want to call on uh, a teammate to, to help you out? 
I think sure. Ernesto knows, Camden knows. Who do you want to call on? Uh, Camden. Camden, what does it stand for? Elbows. Elbows. All right, very nice. Good, yeah. Put your elbows on your arms. Good job. So, before I even talk to you about what beef was, I had you guys take your perfect shot, right? We do that because you want to build that muscle memory of taking your perfect shot every time. My shot will not look like Coach Carey's shot. Coach Carey's shot won't look like Emily's shot. All right, everybody's shot is a little different, but it's perfect for them in their own way. All right, so what we're going to do right now, we're going to take a couple more shots. I want, you to, I want you to take five in a row, okay? And then I want you to close your eyes and take another five. All right, let me see your perfect shot. Here we go. Ready? Go. One. Hit. Nice. I'm just taking a look. Make sure you take your perfect one. Don't change it up. Mm-hmm. Camden, take that full motion, all right? Bring that ball down and then shoot it. Yeah. All right. Now close your eyes. Let me see. You close, close your eyes and take your perfect shots. Same full motion. Abby, let me see. Close your eyes, though. Close your eyes. Word. I'll be right back. Okay, Em. Move. Move. Take a move. Move back. All right, guys. So, I want you to open your eyes. And, oh, let's see if we can. Can we mute that, uh, Carrie? Hold on a second, guys. Right. <laughs> yeah, there's a puppy over there. So, guys, as I was watching you take your shots, when you started closing your eyes, a couple of you started leaning to one side or leaning to the right or the left. You want to take your same perfect shot, okay? I know it's when, you're, when your eyes are open, it feels the same, but each and every single one of you keeps it up just a little bit. Once you guys are able to narrow it down and keep it the same, your shots are gonna go in every single time. And it won't be a matter of if it goes in, it's more of when, all right? You guys are at that age where you guys are developing your shots still and you're gonna get that strength going, but all the exercises we did early on, that's gonna help with that, all right? You're strengthening your upper arms and you're gonna be able to move left and right and do a bunch of cool stuff that way. Okay, are there any questions right now, guys? No, I've thrown a lot of information at you. Okay. So, let me see. Let me uh, let me ask some more questions. Um, Abby, what's that uh, movement that we did with the ball when we dribble in front of us? Cross one. Yeah. What'd you call it? I called it the cross one. I don't know. You just the cross, cross one. All right. Yeah, you can call it the cross one. Crossover. That's totally fine. Good. Um, Jackson. What do you call it when you bounce the ball up and down to the side of you? Dribbling. Dribbling, very nice. And how many pushes do you get again before it's a travel, Sushitra? Two. Two, okay, very nice. Okay, now I have another activity for you guys. If you don't need a ball thing, you can just kind of sit where you are. I want everybody to close their eyes. I just want you to listen to my voice, okay? You guys have been working really hard. It's been a long day. All right. So keep your eyes shut. I want you to take a deep breath through your nose. All right. In through your nose and out through your mouth. Just like that. And again, in through your nose and out through your mouth. Keep your eyes closed. All right. I want you to visualize that you're in a game, okay? Say it's a championship game for your team. It could be for prep, for varsity. Maybe it's the future. Maybe you're in a gold medal match, Team USA, all right? You've got the ball and you're dribbling, all right? Keep your eyes closed. I want you to show me how you're dribbling that ball. Keep your eyes closed, Abby. <laughs> Show me how you're dribbling that ball. Great job, Aurora. 
You keep working. All right. You got a defender in front of you. You're doing a crossover. Let me see that crossover. All right. You're still in full control. They're reaching, so you decide to go to a little dribble. Go to a little dribble. You're still in control. Ernesto, eyes closed, buddy. Promise, we're not going to scare you or nothing. <laughs> All right. Keep breathing. You're in full control. You're dribbling. You see the shot clock winding down. There's 10 seconds left. You decide to take a push to try and get around the defender. Take that push. All right. It could be to the left. It could be to the right. Be whatever you choose. Whatever move you, you make is going to work. All right. Clock's running down. Six, five, four, three. When you look at the basket, you remember that acronym of BEEF? I want you to take your perfect shot and leave that follow through out there. Two, one. That's a game winner. Camden, did you fall asleep? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so how, what how many of you guys saw yourself playing in the game uh, in the past? Anybody? Kumaka, Suchi, okay. What about in the future? Was anybody playing in college? Was anybody playing on the national team? Yeah, okay, very nice. So with that little visualization, do you guys remember the color of the jersey the other team was wearing? No? It's okay if you don't. Yes, no? Okay. How many of you remember what the basket looked like? Exactly the same as a normal basket does. Exactly. Okay. Exact same as a normal basket. Okay. Do you remember? Did you take a three pointer? Did you take a layup? Did you take a mid range jumper? I'm going to let you in a little. Are seat. you talking to me? No, everybody. <laughs> everybody. No. So. I'm going to let you know a little secret. Any shot that you take, it's going to be your perfect shot, all right? You don't necessarily change, unless you're going for, in for a scoop layup, but any shot from the outside, it's a perfect, it's your perfect shot. So all the shots that you guys took this entire period, that's what that jumper is going to look like. Whether it's 10 feet away, whether it's three-point line, that's the same shot, okay? Those little movements that helped you get around the defender, these are things that we're working on now so that when you do get to that national title game, to that gold medal game, all right, you're going to be ready. It's all about the little things and all the details. Okay? I know right now you're probably like, Coach Mack, you're crazy. This isn't going to work. But I promise you, with Coach Mouse, she's, <laughs> she's been working on her craft for a long time. I've been working on my craft for a long time. Coach Mayo, Coach Carey, all the coaches. All right? It's all about repetition and visualization. Okay. The more you put yourself in that situation, that little bit of pressure, all right? When it comes down to it in, in real life, real time, it's going to be like nothing because you've already practiced it a thousand times before. Okay. Very nice. Did you guys feel good when you were breathing? Give me a thumbs up. You felt good when you were breathing. All right. Very good. That's what you have to do too. In anything, you got to keep breathing. Remember that you are in full control. And then you will you will do great things as long as you stay focused. All right, sound good? Yep. <laughs> All right, guys. So hey, I want to give you guys a little time to ask questions. It could be about basketball. It could be about any of the sports that we're doing this week. Um, it could be about how, uh, the, the level of basketball we played, like Coach Coach Mayo, Coach Mouse, Coach Carey. Um, we will answer any of your questions. What do you guys got for us? It could be about Anything. Yeah, she, she's, a, she's a her. Yes, Emily. That's I about rugby. Uh, rugby, okay. How would we do rugby at home? Like, how would we be doing it? Like, so just like you, we've been doing it for like basketball and different things. I'm, I'm sure. Uh, do you know? Is it, is it Coach Devin that's doing it, Carrie, or is it? Uh... Well, we will be doing just some different um, chair skills. Um, and, you know, providing you guys maybe with some videos that you can watch about rugby, but we won't, um, 
we won't be able to ha actually yeah Devin won't be here live to do any skills with us okay but yeah so any anything that you do virtually you it's real again it goes back to that visualization part but all of the movements that you learn in rugby you push right you push left right forward back right it's quick movement yeah. you have to you have to take deep breaths you have to be ready to start and stop right so things like that everything is how good your uh, your experience is is based on how how much you put effort into it family yeah that's a, that's a great question though yeah, yeah. Abby did you have a question no Kumaka no okay Polina nobody okay I'm just saying coach so do you have a lot of experience in front of you all right coach Mouse is a two-time national champion at the University of Alabama Coach Mayo has been played throughout all the ranks, D3, D2, D1. Uh, I've played in, in college. I've played in the pros. Coach Carey's played in the women's division, D3, things like that. Any questions you guys might think of after camp, you guys know how to reach us. Right? Email us. We can, you know, there's different information that we have that we can provide for you. We're more than willing to help. All right? Sound good? Yeah. A question? Oh, yeah, let's. Who had yeah, a question? I do. Oh, yeah. Um, my question is, I guess, for all the coaches, um, during this time of being inside and uh, being isolated, how are you? How are you getting motivated to keep up your side? And how do you manage to keep that motivation going when you know? You don't necessarily get to be social physically. Yeah, um, that's a great question, Suji. Yeah, you, you you always have great questions. Um, I think it's really about um, kind of where you are and what you want to accomplish within the next couple of years. So, for example, um, for me, I'm I'm coaching full time now. Uh, I'm I'm on Team USA for amputee soccer, and I'm not really playing basketball full time like that, but my training doesn't stop because I have to be able to teach my athletes, you guys and all my other athletes, um, how to do certain movements. All right. So I have to stay on top of that um, by, by being uh -huh. active and really um, seeing how to explain things um, to a lot of different personalities. With soccer, um, I always have to upload like a training video. So I am always constantly moving. And yes, it's, it, it's unfortunate the situation that we're in, but it's also in a weird way, a blessing because you really can find, uh, I, I know at least for me, I've been able to find different hobbies all right, and different ways to pass my time. Like I've been uh, finding a lot of di new different recipes. I've been able to work out with Coach Mayo um, more than I have in the past. Well, we haven't done it in a while, but it's okay. Um, you know, being able to connect with you guys. Um, again, it's, it's really about just like trying to find all the great things that are here versus all the things that have been kind of taken away from us now. Because honestly, that's all going to be coming back, right? But what are we going to do in the meantime to continue being better, right? Like if you think about, so Sushi, you, you play in the NWBA, right? You play wheelchair basketball? So what's the team you guys, you always play against? A what? What's the team you always play against when you're playing wheelchair basketball? We always play against Seattle when we're Spokane. All right, so Seattle. Seattle and Spokane. The, Seattle's got some pretty good shooters, right? Those dudes are always lighting it up. Yeah. All right. So I want you to think. Yeah, those, it's mm -hmm. gonna be awesome. It's gonna be different. But I want you to think. How are you gonna make it so that you can be a better shooter than those guys this coming season? Are they taking the time off? Or are they getting their reps somehow, somewhere? You guys just did a bunch of drills where you can practice your shots without even having a basketball. All right. It's really about pitching your shot and shooting what you pitch. Okay. Can I yeah, can I add something, yeah. Coach Mac? Yeah. So I'll be honest with you. Since I stopped competing, I actually have a and even before we were on lockdown, right? I actually have had a really hard time transitioning to find out and figure out what motivates me now to get my exercise and physical activity, um, because really for me. I don't like going into the gym, but I totally did it all the time when I was training for water skiing. Um, and so now for me, it's really about 
thinking about just constant, like moving a lot and not being sedentary, right? Not sitting in front of my computer doing too much work or watching too much TV. And so figuring out like, you know, just going on a leisurely bike ride or walking, you know, when it gets cool at night with, you know, Coach Derek and our dog, um, jumping in our little um, Walmart pool that's in the backyard and moving, you know, just lots and pulling weeds, doing yard work, cleaning the house. Like, I just, I just try to think about moving as much as possible, but then also sometimes when you move, what can you do to make it more like exercise, right? So like, maybe I'm walking the dog, well, let's do a sprint for, you know, half a block or whatever. Um, but really just finding out what motivates you, what you like to do, and even finding someone to do it with, right? So even if you have a friend, like my good friend in Sacramento, which is an hour and a half away, we were just talking about, um, even though we might not be able to work out together or ride our bike together, maybe we could try to plan to go at the same time and talk about it later or, you know, whatever it might be. That's all. Why you, Coach Mayo? No, it's the same thing for me. I, I, I actually found myself wanting to work. So I called up Coach Mac and I said, let's work out. But I don't want to work out and I'm tired. And he says, okay, we'll, we'll motivate each other. And so then we did that for, for a good month and a half or so of just some pretty hard stuff because Coach Mac likes to work out very hard. But then uh, I missed some of my friends here in town. And so we went on on some bike rides. But we kept good social distance and we did our things. But those are, you know, getting some good bike rides in are pretty good. Mouse? Mouse? Uh, well, I'm kind of with Carrie in that um, I just started a new job a couple weeks ago, and um, I also got sick um, with some stomach issues. Um, so I found it really hard um, to kind of stay as active as I should be. Um, but like I bag groceries at Target, and so you know, making sure that I'm lifting and um, trying to do that as well as I can. Um, and then once a week, um, we do a Zoom workout with our basketball team on Friday nights, and so we'll do just an hour of um, like yoga, or and it's just it's really nice. Um, and it's okay to not be motivated, you know, sometimes. Sometimes it's okay to just kind of like reset yourself, refocus, because I know that it's really hard to deal with, you know, having to stay quarantined and not getting to see your friends and not getting to do things that you usually do during the summertime like this. Um, so it's okay to kind of just take, take a minute, you know, just kind of refocus yourself, reset yourself, reset your mind, reset your body, but then taking the initiative going forward, choosing to do something like cleaning the house, taking out the garbage, you know, doing something like that, just to keep yourself a little bit moving. Yeah, and just think about it this way too, guys. Like, I'm, think now, a year from now, when camp is happening next year in person, you know, we're gonna think back and remember like, man, we did virtual camp and we're gonna be able to experience all the great things that, you know, that we'll have access to in person. We're really gonna appreciate it, appreciate it that much more, all right? So that, that's something to keep you motivated too, like when we're able to all get back out there, like, are you gonna be ready? <laughs> you know, it's a good question, Sushi. What other questions you guys have? Hmm? Yes, Emily? And the volunteers, so you know how there's like some seniors in this camp like senior, like they're not going to be campers anymore. Mm -hmm. So, can we volunteer when when it starts back up again when we go when we fly out to Chico? Go so, what, yeah, that's a great question, Emily. What what we usually do? So, I mean, you could totally volunteer, but um, you'd have to find probably your own place to stay and figure out how to get here. Um, but we do have um, an option for, you know, having a junior coach, but we do require that you um, are away for two years before you can come back as a junior coach. Um, and in that time, because we don't just take anyone, 
in that time that you're gone in those two years, what we want to see is that you're still doing something related to exercise, sports, or physical activity, right? And that you're gaining skills and you're gaining not only skills in a sport or, you know, an activity, but also gaining skills in the ability to be a coach. So that requires public speaking. It requires being able to kind of say, not mean, but, um, you know, tell people what to do, which can be hard for someone, right? Um, yeah. And being able to direct people and get people to be quiet and listen and, um, and knowing how to give good direction. Um, and it's, it's all practice. Um, and so if you're interested in becoming a junior coach or a volunteer, um, look for opportunities in your community um, that will give you those types of skills and um, experiences. Good question, Emily. Yeah. Any other great questions like that? Could be about sports, could be about school, life. I got a, I got a question. What's yeah. everybody singing for karaoke night? Ooh. Party B. No, oh. <laughs> nope, nobody's singing for karaoke night. Uh, I think, um, Ebony and come on, Matt. Ivor. Ivor. Hunter, are you do you have a question, Hunter? You can unmute yourself. I see you typing in the chat. Unmute yourself, Bob. Is there anything that we need to gather for tomorrow? <gasps> Good question. Oh, for tomorrow, yeah. Coach Gary, what do you got? Well, we've got tennis in the morning. I want to say that um, if you have any sort of tennis ball or ball type of a thing, maybe have that. Um, and then if you have the TheraBands, I know some of you have not received your box yet, um, but if you have TheraBands, um, or even like a nylon, if you have a nylon sock that you can maybe borrow from your mom hmm. or sister, or you have one yourself, um, or from anyone, just borrow one. Uh, that could be kind of like a TheraBand. Emily. Uh, so what if we don't have a tennis Or do we need a tennis racket? No. No. no tennis racket needed. Okay. But Anthony is going to get you moving. So, um, yeah, be ready for some movement. Mm -hmm. Okay. Get Ernesto. Okay. Anything else, guys? No. Bay, as always, guys, we love doing this. And uh, obviously, it's a little little different than years past but as you guys know you guys can always reach out to us um, in between <laughs> sessions choose a text um, an email if you have any questions later on um, but thanks for coming to this session guys you could have been doing anything else and decide to hang out with us and Thank if you guys you. if you guys want to stay on if you guys want to chat and hang out we'll leave it open okay I'm gonna mute myself um, but but we'll leave it open for you guys to hang out mm -hmm. Sound Thank good? you. Oh. Cool. All right. Good work, guys. Let's get an ability first on three. It's going to be kind of weird. Yeah. So I'll go well, on the count of three, ability first, right? One, two, three. Ability oh, first. first. Good job, guys. Oh, nice. <laughs> that was kind of hard. Okay.